biopharma industry, the savior of the COVID era. And today, it's growing leaps and bounds thanks to technology. Today in this video, we are going to talk about what's trending in the biopharma sector. Now, biopharma sector as we know it has evolved in many ways. Okay, Back in the day, it used to take $10 billion to discover one antibiotic to today, wherein a vaccine was designed within a you know, span of a year. So, how it's happening? We need to understand that and then we'll analyze what are the trends which is happening in the biopharma industry. So, the first thing which you all should know, what is the biggest trend at this juncture in the biopharma industry, which the industry is adopting like anything, is big data and artificial intelligence. Now, to remind you, whenever research happens, a lot of data is generated, right? Now, these companies are using that data points and analyzing it using machine learning algorithms and artificial, artificial intelligence to arrive at a conclusion, right? And then they are further refining it and further uh, doing better and much more efficient and scalable experiments. So that's the first trend which is happening in the industry, which is big data and artificial intelligence and machine learning. The second one which is happening, which has always been there, but now it is happening more, is interdisciplinary research. So analyzing a research trend or uh, experiment and looking at it from different perspective, how can we apply a, a different technique and technology onto this or maybe a, a overlap of two different uh, fields, say physics and biology or chemistry and biology or bioinformatics and CRISPR. So interdisciplinary field research is happening and that's one thing which is highly trending in the biopharma industry. Let's move on to the third one which is bioinformatics tools and techniques. So as you know it, the wet lab is costly. Biopharma industry hates that because when you jump in and do a lot of experiments, you experiment every possible variable, you spend billions of dollars. But if the same thing can be done inside a computer in the virtual environment using bioinformatics tools and techniques, then it is easier, it is cheaper, it is faster, it is better. And then you need to only decide, okay, which one works and then replicate that in the wet lab. So bioinformatics tools and techniques is one big trend which is happening in the biopharma industry. And I believe this is going to be a tradition of the future. So if you are not a part of bioinformatics, in no matter whatever field you are in, you should learn bioinformatics. And Biotechnica provides you excellent opportunity to do that with Bioinformatics Global Tools and Techniques Summer Internship, which is starting from 11th of April. The link is in the description. You can check that out. And now let's move on to the next trend in the biopharma industry, and that is digital health tech. Now, digital health tech is, is being pioneered by Apple and Google and various other tech companies. But this is the next era of growth in the biopharma industry, wherein the, there'll be overlap of biosensors and uh, the tech which is available in the market. And we will get better data points and better analysis, analytical points which we can use in the future to diagnose and treat diseases even before it has happened. So digital health tech is one exponentially growing trend and tradition of the future in which you can definitely invest by learning biomedical sciences if you are interested in that. Now let's move on to the next point, next trend and that is focus on rare diseases. Now rare diseases, genetic diseases or um, uh, various diseases which is happening in one in a million but it is also growing very fast like for example um, uh, cancer or psoriasis. You can see these diseases are rare but it is growing fast and spreading among the population. So the pharma industry is more interested in research on disease diseases which are, which are rare but definitely it will uh, have a huge impact in the future on the mankind. So biopharma industry is gravitating and re doing research on that. Now with this we come to an end of this video but let me tell you these four or five trends are bound to become a tradition of the future. One way to learn it Either you can learn coding if you are interested in the computer part of it like big data, artificial intelligence or machine learning. The second could be if you are interested in hardcore research, you should always stand at the boundary of physics, chemistry and biology. Stand at the forefront and at the barriers and the boundaries of uh, different fields. Do interdisciplinary research and you can get absorbed into the industry faster. Or you can also learn bioinformatics and apply that in your research and grow. Or if you are in the biomedical field, digital health tech is something which is coming 
very very fast which is growing very very fast for all of you now rare diseases as i said if you are a hardcore researcher you always can get into a rare diseases research and make a mark in the biopharma world so these are the four or five trends which is hot right now in 2023 for future trends, please keep subs please stay subscribed to Biotechnica's YouTube channel and I'll see you soon in the, in the next one with more insights from the bio and pharma industry. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.